My name is Barbara Samuels, and I'm honored to be your day chair. Um, just to set us up for a very practical day, Scott's headlines, as he put them forth, are, of course, compelling. And what Hubert has emphasized in his welcome is that we are here with a very practical orientation. We are here to get investments done, to work on transactions, to mobilize the existing investment potential within Africa, its pension funds, its domestic capital, not only in its domestic countries, but cross-border. That's one of the key elements of this summit that make it really compelling and unique. And then to double game that, to be able to leapfrog and say, not only will African pension funds invest in their own countries in bankable, sustainable projects, but co-invest in other African countries and in regional large projects at the same time is providing the footprint that's needed for international investors, for international pension funds, for the other investors. So we need to, we need to also, of course, provide the critical linkages to the political leaders. Enabling business environment is absolutely fundamental to be able to be able to ensure that the investments pay off, that there are the right underlying preconditions for investment, that the concerns of investors are met vis-a-vis -vis the regulatory frameworks. So having the political connection, being able to tie back and help the political leaders that have the wherewithal to create the environments that are needed for investors to be uh, responsible, to exercise the needed due diligence, their fiduciary responsibilities. This is what this forum is geared to. So I, I want to congratulate Hubert. I want to congratulate the NSE Euronex on being able to bring together the actual practitioners, the investors, with the senior policymakers that really can pull off the investments that are critical to Africa's future. Um, we have a very, as Hubert said, we're very uh, packed in, as always, for these meetings. Um, so I'm going to go on in terms of housekeeping rules. Doing business in Africa. You can't afford to be without Africa Investor.